Hi guys, this is Chinmay from Oxy Ultimate. In this video, I am demonstrating the add to cart component. You will get this component under the Oxy Ultimate U sections. This button is adding the add to cart button like same product add to cart button but I added some extra features. You can use this button in two purposes. One is you can use in the loop. Another one is you can add the button for a specific product or on single product page. So here I am first showing the how you will use in the loop. I used the repeater component and inside the repeater component I used the manual query. Here is my query params. Next inside the repeater I added my add to cart component. And this is the basic setup of the <coughs> add to cart component. I select the we will use in the loop option is yes because it is I am using the loop then I showing the quantity and add to cart button you can disable the quantity field from quantity sections so you can see that it is working as a normal add to cart button I am enabling it and you can design this input field from the settings next you can design the add to cart button here is the add to cart button sections here is the one another options in you can change the button text so you will select the yes here are the four options this is for single simple product type this is for the variable product and this is for the group product here is the one of my group product so i am changing the button text details and i am changing the add to cart button basket now clicking on the apply params button you can see that button text is changed and this will see on live preview so i am saving the builder going to front end and you can see that button text is changing add to cart button view details i added here right now here I have no variable product so i am keeping same attributes and this is the external product so this product button is coming from the woocommerce product edit product page so you can change it from there next i am showing the functionality adding the quantity click on the add to basket you can see that product is adding and showing the view cut button this view cut button design can be done from view cut sections here is the settings you can also hide this button if you want so you will select the no next i am refreshing the page okay next adding the product you can see that view cut button is not showing now and product is also added so this is the features of the add to cut button of loop mode okay here is the variation clear test and variation this option is for variable product right now it is and this option only work when you will use the 
use it on single product page or use it on specific product settings so here i am set up a one specific product items i added a section add some custom image add title some custom text and here i added my add to cart button here is my add to cart button component okay settings is i select the loop is no next you will select the product from your drop down i select the product one okay so you can see the functionality right now i have two product okay next i am clicking on the button you can see that product is adding and redirecting to the single product page if you do not want the redirect you can implement the ajax features this option is inbuilt mm, going to add to cut page this is the builder here you can see the enable ajax add to cart function this option only available for when you will use the specific product option or single product page so i am enabling the ajax add to cart function when i am selecting the option so page will not refresh if you want to redirecting the specific page after adding to cart you can set up the redirect url option here i am keeping in blank right now okay saving the builder and going to add to cart page okay now changing the quantity and clicking on the add to cart button you can see that ajax is performing and here product is added three items in, added into the basket so page is not refreshing and product is adding next i am adding the redirect url features okay i am setting the checkout page the options first i am removing the products now i am refreshing my page okay adding the items and clicking on the button you can see that product is added and it is redirecting to the checkout page here is my checkout page and it is successfully redirecting to checkout page so whatever you put here it will redirect to that page you can also change this button text from here like add to my bag i am adding okay here is it you can see the changes so you can see that text is changing i added same button on my single product page here is my button at to cut button i added one and refreshing the page okay now i am adding the product i added the ajax function and product is added here is the benny with logo here is the product and it is adding so this is the functionality of my add to cart component
थैंक यू फॉर वाचिंग दी वीडियो